Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Houston Rockets potentially trading for Kevon Looney of the Golden State Warriors. Kevon Looney has been eyed as a trade target from the for the Houston Rockets, and a lot of GMs currently with the Draymond Green situation happening on Tuesday night are calling up the Warriors, trying to see what stand you know where everything stands with their team and who's available, who's not available. And honestly, I'll be honest with everybody. I think. Everybody on the Golden State Warriors is available in a trade that is not the name Stephen Curry. Uh, I think Clay, with him being an expiring contract, and you know, with with you know his struggles this season, Clay just had a great game, just scored thirty points. But with his struggles this season and it being a contract year for him, I think for Clay Thompson, he's available in a trade. Draymond, with the way he's acted this year, with what's going on with him right now. I would like to think Golden State wouldn't do him dirty like that and trade him away when he's dealing with you know what he's dealing with, with right now. But I think he's available to trade right now. What puts them in the best situation for Stephen Curry to win, they will do. As good as Jonathan Kaminga is, he's this is an extension offseason next for next offseason is an extension year for him. I think he's probably available to trade as well. If they can improve their team, they will get rid of Kaminga. Uh, I think anybody else on their team that uh, there's a question mark. Andrew Wiggins, look how bad he's been this year. He's available in a trade as well. I don't think there's a player on the Golden State Warriors besides Steph that isn't available in trade this year uh, going into the trade deadline. Maybe Chris Paul, but I I doubt it. I doubt Chris Paul is is you know untouchable as well. Um, if Chris, if they can trade away Chris Paul and get like a all star or a superstar like Pascal Siakam, they'll do it. But let's talk about Kevon Looney, who's been odd as a trade target for the Houston Rockets. I think it would be a great, great trade for the Houston Rockets to trade for Kevon Looney. Let's go over what the details would be for the Houston Rockets to get Looney. So the Rockets would send Jay Sean Tate, who has two years left on his deal, just like Kevon Looney, same contract. Looney is receiving $7.5 million. Jay Sean is receiving $6.5 million. Uh, the Warriors would get a 2024 first round pick from Brooklyn and a 2024 second round pick from OKC. That Brooklyn pick, you're looking at a potential lottery pick right there. So that would be great for the Warriors if it's going to start getting bad for them with rebuilding potentially uh, once Steph gets old. A lottery pick would be great for the Warriors. Uh, and that's definitely a lot. They can definitely have a lot of lottery pick if they keep playing the way they're playing. But they're gonna want to start winning pretty soon. So, if they're gonna fix things soon for the war, if the Warriors are gonna start fixing things soon, I think that uh, they will probably not be in the lottery in the NBA draft lottery going into the next NBA draft. Also, if Golden State wanted, they can get that first round pick and flip it to acquire somebody else like a Pascal Siakam or OG Ananobi or a Laurie Markkinen, guys that they've been linked to. So, Jay Sean Tate. Two on twenty-four first round pick via Brooklyn, which is uh, a potential lottery pick. Right now w- would be the fifteenth pick in the NBA draft, but it's not even halfway through the season yet. Uh, and then a second round pick, which belongs to OKC, going into next year's draft as well. So you got Tate, who's a great defender, uh, solid score as well, averaging seven points per game with three rebounds per game. And mainly, more importantly, is a great defensive player. Uh, a first round pick this year via Brooklyn, and then the second-round pick for Kevon Looney. I think that it, that is a great offer for the Rockets to acquire Looney. I think he'd be great coming in as a backup center. You know, the Rockets, they tried to bring in Jock Lando uh, as a defensive piece, a good rebounder, who would be great backing up Alpron Sangoon. But Lando has not been that. And I think Kevon Looney coming in for the for the Rockets would be uh, something... It'd be, it would be something that Jock Lando was supposed to be, but he has not been. And something I didn't know that before I started doing this video, starting to uh, look some stuff up, is that Kevin Looney nearly joined the Houston Rockets going into the 2019-20 season. I had no idea about this. The Rockets met with him. They were a serious threat to steal Kevin Looney away from the Golden State Warriors going into the 2019-20 season. I had no idea about that. Um... And honestly, I'm I regret we didn't sign Kevin Looney because if you would have had Kevin Looney, would have signed Looney in the 2019-20 season, 
uh, going into the 1920 season. The Rockets, after trading Capella, would have not had to go go small ball. Uh, Could have had Looney at 6'10 in the starting lineup instead of P.J. Tucker being the center at 6'6". But um, Looney this season has played 24 games and 21 starts with the Warriors. 6.6 points, sorry, 5.6, 5.6 points per game with eight over 8 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game. Uh, and one steal per game. And from three, he's not a three-point shooter. He has not taken one three this season for the Warriors. Uh, he, he has barely made any threes in his career, actually. Um, 2022-23 season with the Warriors, seven points per game, 9.3 rebounds per game, 82 games, 70 starts. 2021-22 season with the Warriors, 82 games, 80 starts. And he, played six, he, he averaged six points per game with seven rebounds per game, two assists per game, uh, over half steal and block per game for the Warriors. I think it'd be a great addition for the Rockets backing up Sengun and starting if ever needed as well. Uh, and I think he'd make this team, he'd, he'd give this team a better chance to win when they're already winning right now, 13-9 and nine in the sixth uh in the sixth seed in the Western Conference. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the thoughts on the potential trade for the Rockets in the comment section. And peace out. Go Rockets.